envelopes mean essentially refers to the fact that there are no details or there's scant attention to the details and that money is being allocated uh, in bulk sum to different sectors. No, it hasn't worked that way. It's on a system of envelopes. Remember the fundamentals for preparing a budget. You'll call for budget estimates from the various government departments. Then you look at the baseline of the budgets for the uh, preceding years. And then on that basis, and in terms of the projections for GDP growth rates that an economy would like to see, then you decide exactly um, how much the size envelope the, of the budget that you would like to see. But it's not exactly either or. Let's go to Lagos quickly now for some questions. Do All I, right, sir, thank you, uh, Mark. Uh, Ambassador Osako, you've been in the background uh, lately uh, working with the government on so many things. Uh, I'm so excited having you on the program. Perhaps we should also be looking to asking you questions about our trade policies and agreement, because if you are the trade advisor to the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, uh, if we have a peek into what our trade policies and agreements are, they can also help uh, the 2017 budget. Tell us more on that. Absolutely right. And thank you for having me and for the questions uh, that you have posed. Essentially, this is where we are. Trade is an engine for growth. Trade policies are basically policies for structural reform are for productivity and competitiveness. And the current direction of Nigerian trade policy is to use it very aggressively and very ambitious, ambitiously to do very specific things. One, to enlarge the market. The Nigerian market is big. It's a market of about 180 million. But beyond the borders in the region, you have the ECOWAS of 300 million. So one of the cardinal objectives of Nigerian trade policy at this time is to enlarge the market for domestic manufacturers here in Nigeria and for services providers. Secondly, in enlarging the market space, we do want to go uh, better, deeper, at a higher level of quality into the ECOWAS market, which many Nigerian manufacturers and services providers feel that we have not done as well as we should have done in the past. In doing that, we need to connect better to regional supply chains and into the African continent, into global supply chains, and then the wider market, the global economy. And thirdly, one of the things that we're trying to do with, the, with, with our trade policy at this time is to respond to the angst, to the serious concerns of many Nigerians, not just the manufacturers and services providers, but also to the consumers that the Nigerian economy has become a dumping ground for cheap products, low quality products, trade subsidized products by other economies, including those outside of the continent. And so one of the things that we're looking to do, and uh, Minister Enelama is driving hellishly on this, is to develop trade defense measures for the Nigerian economy through basically, in our jargon, what we call uh, trade remedies, safeguards, countervailing duties, anti-dumping measures that we currently do not have. And there is more. You would have known, you already know, that one of the strong initiatives by President Buhari is his initiative on an enabling environment for business. The Nigerian market is big, but it can be more efficient. And so we need to move better in the area of what you currently know is the President's Enabling Business Environment Council, APORTS take our trade infrastructure. We need to be able to expedite more competitively, more efficient, efficiently on a time-sensitive basis, export of goods outside of this country, import of goods inside this country, turnaround, 
cargo clearance, there's a whole lot to do. One other thing is that we're trying to do with a trade policy um, is we can't live in the past. There is a whole range. There's a brand new economy. It's called the internet economy, the digital economy. And here Nigerians on their own, very autonomously, with a strong entrepreneurial spirit, are moving very rapidly. You have the Jumias, you have the, you have Iroko, you have, you go to Lagos, you have think, the Yabatech, information place, uh, uh, technology. Engineers. So we'll come back to you, uh, we'll take a moment, we'll come back to you uh, more so when you talked about the trade remedies safeguard. What comes to mind, uh, I remember the toxic waste that was dropped uh, in Coco uh, port then in Delta State. If you say we still don't have that in, in place and you're working to making sure we have that in place, it's good you speak to that when we come back after now. Our closing moments with uh, Ambassador Osakwe. We we're looking uh, to speak in more on the trade remedies safeguard, which you highlighted on. Could we please uh, speak uh, more on that uh, before we leave? I'm very happy to do that. Thank you uh, very much uh, for the opportunity. There are competitors of Nigerian uh, who are out there outside of our borders. Uh, through whose economies our goods are being transshipped into the Nigerian economy, putting domestic manufacturers under pressure by selling below market price for like products. And that's the definition of dumping. And so what we are working are feverishly at this time is to develop the trade infrastructure uh, that would safeguard this economy. But I need to be clear, not in a protectionist sense. The Nigerian economy is a market economy. This is why this is this is why Nigeria is now, depending on the assumptions you, you use, anything between the 23rd and 26th largest economy in the world. This isn't a nickel and dime economy. This is a big economy. But one of the challenges that faces a big economy is that many come. There are predators. There are good investors. There are bad investors. And so the economy needs to be safeguarded in accordance with the rules of the WTO on the trading system. Which is fair enough, but then there are questions. I'm sure you listened to the last report there. Why do you think that the federal government continues to put out assumptions that are very optimistic? I mean, especially when people will think that we should always prepare for the worst case scenario. I'm not a spokesman for government. I'm just an official, but that's not a defensive statement. But Listen, as one Nigerian to another, part of the business of government is to give hope. Part of the business of government is simply to describe a picture that gives hope to the rest of Nigerians, but to do it on a technically sound basis and platform. The purpose of government is not to depress, but to create an environment that is realistically enabled and established to promote and give an enabling environment for business and the private sectors and for both domestic and foreign investors to do their business. So I would not quarrel with a government, not even the Nigerian government, that gives hope and that acts with vision, with boldness and audacity. And these times, in my view, warrant it. Okay. Well, we have to say thank you very much for coming on Sunrise Daily. Ambassador Chiedu Osakwe is a trade advisor to the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. Thank you. Very grateful to you. Thank uh, Sunrise you. Daily will continue shortly. Do join us again. It's actually uh, goodbye, Zvalpe. Uh, many thanks for being such a nice company. I'm Slyman. I'll let us see you again. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And I'm Neil Tagbe. Thank you for watching. You have the Abuja Club. Thank you very much indeed.
Thank you, Amaupe Ogun. <laughs>